Good afternoon, guys, girls, men, women. Matt with Bam Ranch. Thanks for watching. I wanted to bring up something today. Uh, sewing. I had to, you know, put a button. You know, we've all had to, you know, we've lost buttons on our shirt and things of that nature. And so I wanted to bring up sewing and a little sewing kit, sewing machines and things like that. But anyway, sewing kits. These are overlooked, and a lot of times people just go and buy the cheap one from the dollar store that only has, you know, a few feet of thread in it and a couple needles. And that'll work. But I encourage you to go and buy several spools of thread in all of the main colors, full spools of thread. Get several of them. Get a couple big packages of needles get several thimbles and several of the needle threader things I don't have any idea what the proper term for those is uh, some straight pins safety pins a pin cushion and put together a, uh, a sewing kit I keep my sewing kit our family keeps our sewing kit stored in like a pencil box like depending on your age you, you know you used to have a box a box that you kept for school that kept all your pencils and markers and stuff like that something like that or a small tackle box is perfect you know scissors you know uh, one of the little measuring tapes used for sewing a lighter to burn off the ends an assortment of buttons and get that stuff and start using it Start using it and be familiar with it because sewing, although it seems simple in and of itself, by the time you do it and you you know wind up tying your thread in all sorts of knots and all everything like that, it does take a little bit of practice. And get in the habit of whenever the sleeve on your coat starts to kind of split from use, you go ahead and fix that, repair it. You know, some of your gear starts to get a hole worn through it. Well, learn how to fix and repair that. It's amazing how often we just throw stuff away that just needs a few stitches. Uh, just a quick story. We were in Honduras. We went on a cruise. Um, it was our family and my wife's family. We all went on a cruise and there was uh, we had these little backpacks. And that backpack, while we were on one of those beaches in Honduras for our little excursion fell apart it was my mother-in-law and it had all of the souvenirs you know the personal items and it, you know everything that we were carrying with us or she was carrying with her that day it all just fell apart we didn't have any way to get it back and it was a little small sewing kit that saved the day that day and I think she still has that backpack so get you one get it assembled and keep it keep it handy because you'll be surprised how often that thing gets used now sewing machines uh, do I think you need to go get a treadle manual sewing machine and learn how to use it and, and you know without power and all of that well, it's yeah I mean it, that's a good idea but I don't think it's necessary uh, the sewing machine that I have is just a cheap one that I got from a garage sale and it gets used quite a bit and there are some different things that you'll need to go along with, with that uh, you'll need some bobbins of course needles and which needles are important to store anyway the best blacksmith in the world can't make a sewing needle but sewing machine just get something that serves its purpose uh, the little you know cheap you know $39 handheld things don't waste your time with those but actually get a proper sewing machine get the best one that you can reasonably afford and learn how to use it sit down and make something with it make a pair of boxers not that you need the pair of boxers but if you can make a pair of boxers you can make just about anything you can make anything that's needed but anyway i had to put a button back on my shirt so i thought i'd bring that up with you guys well, anyway, until next time, y'all be safe. Put your phone down, get up, and start doing the things.